Good day everyone, my name is Jakub de Witt. I am a scientist from the South African Weather Service. I work in hydro meteorology research, uh, which deals with everything in the water sector. And I'm here to talk today about the C Citizen Science Project. Uh, the Citizen Science is a growing field that involves non-professionals like yourselves of any age and background in a scientific process. It offers members of the public an opportunity to work in partnership with scientists as they gather, record and share environmental and other scientific data. We have citizen scientists globally in countries such as the US, the UK, Canada and in South Africa. These volunteers participate in various projects related to water and air quality mapping of rain, hail and snow, and assessing hurricane damage, amongst other things. For this current project, the South African Weather Service has received funding from the Water Research Commission to build the capacity of citizen scientists to start collecting weather information using low-cost weather stations. Two schools were selected for this study, that is the Viva Foundation Schools in the city of Tuane and the Suiemane High School in KwaZulu-Natal. Both the city of Tuane and the Suiemane have experienced extreme weather events that have caused damage to agricultural fields, homes and other infrastructure. Hence, weather information is crucial for communities to prepare for and to respond to these disasters. The weather data that the volunteers collect will be used to complement the data which is collected by the South African Weather Service Observation Network of Stations. This project therefore provides an opportunity for young people like yourselves to learn more about the weather and climate and how these two uh, fields impact their lives explore, and to also explore how to improve water resource management and resilience of their communities. Scientists from the South African Weather Service will also use these workshops to showcase possible career opportunities in the environmental sciences fields and in meteorology that learners can follow up as part of their tertiary education. Thank you for listening.